I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos, making excellent suggestions, and even sharing questions to find solutions. It's my privilege to provide these solutions, and I hope many of our other viewers will definitely benefit from this. The question here is, if the difference between the roots of equation ax square minus bx plus c equals to zero is four, then which of the following is true? We are given four different conditions. Now this question is unique because we are normally not talking about difference between the roots, right? Most of the questions are based on sum of the roots and product of the roots. But here it is unique since we are talking about difference between the roots, right? So, so it needs a, a fresh look. So in general, let's try to understand. We have this equation ax square minus bx plus c equals to zero. So in that case, what is the solution? So x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac, right? So, so minus of minus b, since it is minus, it becomes plus, right? b square minus 4ac over 2 times a. So this is your general solution, correct? So that means we have two roots here. So let's say one of the root, let's say, say alpha is b plus square root of b square minus 4ac, right, over 2a. And the other root, let's say beta, will be b minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a, clear? So these are your two roots whenever you're working with quadratic equation. Now, uh, let's look into the difference of these roots. So what is uh, the difference of these roots? That is, what is alpha minus beta? So if I do this minus this, b terms cancel, they become twice. We get two times square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now this could be simplified. You could actually cancel these two, right? Now, if I call difference as D, right, let me call this difference as D, right? Now, in that case, we can just cross multiply and say that the difference D times A is equal to square root of B square minus 4AC, correct? So, if I square, I get D square A square equals to B square minus 4AC. Right. So basically, whenever you are given a difference, then this is the formula to be used. So that be your trick or you can say shortcut. So if you know that where D, the difference D is basically difference of root. Correct? So that is what is important to understand. Now, knowing this, we can actually easily get our solution. So we know 4ac is on one side for all of them. So what are we looking for? We know d in our case is what? So let's work it out. So in our case, we are given difference is 4. So in our case, we know d is equal to 4, right? So that is a difference. of roots. So we know the value of d. That means d square, d square, a square we need, right, on one side. On the other side, we need b square minus 4ac. Easy to remember, b square minus 4ac, you always use, right? So d is 4, so we are looking for 16a square, right? We are looking for 16a square right? And that is b square minus 4ac. 
Now in these equations, you can actually, you may have to change a bit to get 16a squared. So for example, this a square, when you bring on the other side, let's look into option B, right? So in option B, clearly, if I take this 10 to the other side, right? So what do I get? Option B is basically B square taking 4AC to the left means minus 4AC, right? And then taking 10 to this side will have 10A square plus 6A square, which is 16A square. Is that clear to you, right? So now coming back to the multiple choice question, the trick here is whenever a difference is given, let's say difference is D, in that case, for any equation, you should know that d square a square is equal to b square minus 4ac. So that is a rule for you to remember. If you remember that, then you can actually do this in 30 seconds, right? Our idea is less than a minute. We can do it in 30 seconds. Provided we know or remember this particular rule. So it is very important to practice such questions. So let me thank once again, Mr. Ravi, for sharing this with us. And I hope many will understand what should be done when difference of roots is given to us, right? Thanks a lot and all the best.